No. Uh, to be married to her friar, you come to marry her. Yeah. <laughs> and did you, my lady, come hither to be married to this count? I do. If either of you know any, any inward impediment why you should not be conjoined, charge you on your souls to utter it. Know you any hero? None, my lord. Know you any count? I dare answer for him none. <laughs> <laughs> Stand me by, friar. Father, by your leave, with free and unconstrained soul, do you give me this maid, your daughter? As freely, son, as God did give her me. But what have I to give back to you whose worth may counterpoise such a rich and precious gift? None, unless you render her again. Sweet prince, you do me noble thankfulness. There they be, They go back! Give not this rock over to your friend! She's but the sign and semblance of her honor! Oh, behold how like a maid she blushes here! Oh, with authority and the cunning thing cover itself with all! God not that blood as much as that is to witness them over her too! Would you not swear to see her here and see her the maid? But she is none, for she knows the hate of a luxurious bed! Her blush is guiltiness, not modesty! My lord, what mean you? Not to be married, not to knit my soul toward and prove wanton! My lord, in your own proof you have made victory over her youthful advantage and made defeat of her virginity. I know what you would say. You would say, if I had known her, that she did embrace me as a husband. No, Leonardo, I never tempted your daughter with a word too large, but as a brother to his sister, so bashful sincerity and comely love. And say I ever otherwise to you? Out on me! See me! Our oh, right against it. You say to me and Diane and her orb, as faint as if the blood air be blown, but you are more tempered than your blood than Venus! Is my lord well that he not speak so wide? Sweet prince, why speak not you? What should I speak? I stand dishonored that have gone to link my dear friend to a common stale. Oh. Are these things but spoken or do I but dream? Uh, Sir, they are spoken, and these things are true. True, oh God! Leonardo, stand I here? Is this the prince? Is this the prince's brother? Is this the face of hero? Or are I his own? All this is, but what of this, my lord? Let me but move one question to your daughter. And by that fatherly and kindly power that you had in her, bid her answer truly. I do so charge thee as thou art my child. Oh, God defend me, how am I beset? What kind of catechizing call you this? To answer truly to your name. Is it not Hero? Who can blot that name with any just reproach? Well, oh, marry that can, Hero. Hero itself can blot out Hero of virtue. <laughs> what man has he talked with you yesternight betwixt twelve and one? Now, if you are a maid, answer to this. I talked with no man at that hour. Why, then you are no maid. Leonardo, I am sorry you must hear. But myself, my brother, and this grieved count did see her, hear her, talk with a ruffian at that hour of her chamber window, who hath indeed, like a liberal villain, confessed the vile encounters they have shared a thousand times in secret. Oh, hero, what a hero hast thou been. If half thy outward graces have been tempted about thy thoughts and thy counsels of thy heart, but fare thee well, most foul, most fair, Farewell, most pure and piety and impious purity. For thee, I will lock up all gates of love, and upon my eyelids conjecture hate, so all thoughts of beauty shall become thoughts of harm, and never shall it be more gracious. Is any man's here dagger's point for me? Oh, no! No, no, Come, these things brought thus to life, smother her spirit. Oh, the lady. Did I think how long? 